Now we'll take a look at putting some effects on a vocal. We now have a male vocal part, and we're going to use some plate reverb, delay, and then a filter delay, which is right here. Move this out of the way. This is a filter delay. Let's bring the track in and take a look. Well, it's just another night. So we're using the traditional method to use an aux send or auxiliary send to send level to each effect. Here's the delay, here's that much, and here's the filter delay. We can of course change the amount that we want to send. We'll go to the plate, solo it up, and we'll solo up the reverb, which happens to be Lexicon Plate Reverb, called LXP Plate. Except for me and you. you can really hear it there. You just admit now we'll go to the delay. Girl. We'll solo that up. Just a little out of Here's place. our send. Send a little extra. Out here on your own. You can hear it's a little dry and short. Caught up in the race. It creates a nice sense of space. But one day I caught your eye. This is the filter delay. It's an even I know tide. It doesn't make sense. You can hear the short echo is a little Still filtered, meaning it has a lot of mid range. And we'll go back to the track now, call it up. What I like to do is make the effect send really too hot so that I can really hear the effect. We'll push it way up. On God's green earth, it's the fifth day of July. Pull that back a little bit so it sits in the track. The now we'll mute the effects. But the air is so it's dry. And the moon is so then we'll unmute them and listen. Let's call up the delay. The send for the delay. Except for me and you. So let's take a look at the delay, and we can see that I have 16th notes, which is a good place to start. We also have it mapped out to the tempo of the song, so the delays are perfectly timed. I like to also use a plate reverb. A short plate is a good place to start with a vocal. It's a small plate preset with a short reverb time and a short pre-delay. For filter delays, I like to use something by Eventide called the H3000 Factory. This is where you can set the delay times, and this is where you can control the filtering of those delays. But we'll explore more of that later. Again, you'll continually push up the sends until you get the right sound. Keep adjusting. Go to the plate. I don't want to have too much effect on the vocal, but just enough to sit it back in the track and separate it from the mix. So I've also put it on the background vocal. So let's solo them both together. There's a little delay. I'm not using too much effect here, just enough to taste. Now put it back in the mix. What I like to do is cycle back and forth with the chorus. That lets you set the levels and really get a good adjustment on them. So let's go back. We'll take it here again and roll it. You, came along for the you can ride. see the background vocals just pan slightly to the right. And the lead vocal, of course, is right at the middle. It's been the ride of my life. Continue to adjust the levels of the sends until you find Time what you want. Can play tricks on your mind. That sounds good. You don't hear too much of it. Let's go to the plate. You came along Very nice. Right Bring it down a little. Time. Just because you have access to these effects doesn't mean you need to hear them. Every song is going to have its own unique needs. This one didn't need a lot of effect, so you just want enough to separate the vocal from the mix.